new tool uh, that's available in Photoshop 2021 on the latest update. It's only been about, uh, it's only been around for a week now. Um, it's a new tool uh, that gives you the ability to really quickly create patterns without spending loads of time uh, repeating cloning uh, from the traditional methods that Photoshop uh, provides. This for us is definitely a deal breaker because if you're printing any kind of uh, wallpaper, wrapping paper, stickers, this is just going to save you hours and hours of time. Um, I've spent um, hours, it's definitely not minutes, it's been hours creating patterns and then creating a, a pattern file that can be printed on a large format printer. Um, so diving into the video, first thing you need to do, update your Photoshop, then go to view pattern preview you turn this on it will give you a warning about layers with your smart objects if you don't have smart objects it works better um, to be honest i've tried this with jpegs and smart objects and vectors and it doesn't really make any difference so just click ok on that and it gives you a new canvas view um, using your image file that you've created now the first thing you need to do is obviously place an image in place an embedded uh, I've already got some set up in here. Um, so place this in and you can see automatically straight away it's creating the pattern for you. This is just lovely because when you're creating patterns traditionally, you don't know where it's going to repeat, how far it's going to repeat. But at least you can create your your uh, section of pattern however you want to. And the good thing about this, you can drag it out whichever way you want to um, and Photoshop will automatically adjust to where you want that pattern. So creating another file, let's just place another embedded, uh, place that in, just take that down a little bit, and then you can see the kind of results that you can create quickly and easily, just simply by dragging in the images. So once you've created the pattern, what you need to do is uh, enable the pattern window control uh, panel for that so we go to windows and uh, patterns and what we need to actually do now is create that this new pattern that can be then literally dropped into a new file and it doesn't matter what size it is whether it's you know a4 um, 24 inches wide all the way up to 60 inches wide whichever file you want to create you can just drop this pattern in and then you can reuse it whenever you need to so we've got the patterns panel open now we just highlight over the plus button to create a new pattern and it will automatically create this pattern. So we're going to call this the RGB pattern. Click OK, creates the pattern. And once that's done, it's in there, it's saved. You don't need to worry about this original file. Um, but obviously you can save this if you wanted to. You would just simply turn off the patterns preview, um, uh, the pattern preview. I've disabled that by accident on the patterns. So you've got the original file. Um, let's have a look. What size did we make this? No, I think I turned the properties off as well. No, I didn't. There's documents. So with 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter, we can save that off if we wanted to. But I'm going to go ahead and create a file that I'm actually going to print onto a, a Canon a 24-inch 24, 24 uh, printer the Canon IPF Pro 2100 so that's 24 inches wide takes a roll roll fed uh, system um, so if I change this down to inches so we'll make it 23 we could make it borderless so if we make it borderless we'll do 24 inches wide um, and let's make it uh, 44 inches long so it's about uh, just over a meter meter long if you're in a shop and you're selling wallpaper uh, wrapping paper you might want to obviously to sell it by the meter so you're going to create a file just like this now this is just genius the time it's taken me to do this drag in the pattern from your patterns panel and literally just creates it straight away and no matter where you drag it however you want it it will just work out the repeat on it love it it's just such a time saver and so glad that Adobe have included this in the new Photoshop release. So there you have it, creating patterns with a new pattern tool 
well, pattern preview, they call it, um, which allows you to then create the pattern, create the file that you're going to print. And literally, this has taken me minutes rather than um, hours, which maybe it would traditionally take. If you're an illustrator, you can use the step and repeat. Some people like to use that. But if you're used to using Photoshop, this is definitely the tool that you're going to use if you're creating wrapping paper um, from now on. So, yeah, there you have it. That is the pattern preview uh, tool being added to the Photoshop 2021. Thanks for watching. I'm Chris from RGB. You can get in touch with us by leaving a comment below or visiting our website on www.rgbuk.com.